The only one way different of the masturbation is this. When the great master, when the, we talk about men again, when the sexual organ arouse, when the sexual energy arouses, so what they do, they draw the sexual energy up. And that sexual energy can be multiplied 10 times, can be multiplied 100 times, can be multiplied 100,000 times, can be multiplied a million times. You see how much different? One ten percent of the sexual energy can multiply hundred times, ten thousand times, to a million times. Okay? But in the normal people, when they have too much sexual energy, what are they gonna do with it? When you so sexual energy, and what what they do? Or what you do? Huh? Get it out, alright? Touch. <laughs> Go out. So the people when they do masturbation. When it gets only aroused, the energy goes out. So the principal energy is going out. There's no way to multiply a hundred times. One, one percent and one time and hundred times, or thousand times, how much different? This energy alone, when it stays in the body, they can multiply a hundred times, or thousand times. So it's one to thousand different. Okay, that way? That is gradually become a heaven and earth different. So the people when, when the, apparently a lot of master and law system they did it the same. When they set you around, they draw up, draw up, draw up, draw up the energy up. They, they don't let it go out. So a lot of time when people do masturbation, they are get so close to enlightenment. They are so close, you know. They are too close, and finally when they let it go, they're gone. They're too close to be enlightened. It just missed by a little bit only. <laughs> the, that miss a little bit is the big part, right now. Now, so the problem is we draw the energy up or we let the energy go out. So there's a difference only. A lot of great system, and the masturbation may have a different name. In a thousand, we call awakening the turtle head. That's the name they call awakening the turtle head. But instead of let the energy, you are awakening up and you draw the energy up. And many systems have the same practice, but they give a different name. And many systems they only kept it for the people that they're going to pass on. Only one person at one generation, because this is the more highly kept secret for them to attain higher level of energy. It's only one way because the multiply, shh, draw the energy up. Multiply, shh, draw the energy up. Multiply, draw the energy up. So a lot of great masters, when they did it, they become master because the energy is so much different from the other people that they have, and they don't teach. And they only teach out to the successor. Before he die, he get the person of successor on the bed. And when he nearly die, he whisper in the ear. Masturbation. It's a highly <laughs> top secret. There's a highly top secret. I tell you the truth. <laughs> they have a different name for that, but there's a highly secret. The whole difference is a lot. You see? So, the first thing they discover again in olden time, the breast of a lady. The breast. The purpose of the breast, what's the real purpose of the breast of the lady? Nurse the baby. Nurse the baby, is that right? But now it's entirely different. <laughs> There's a different way now. So, because we misuse it, so ladies started to have a lot of problem with the breast cancer. They discovered that the breast is the one that's producing milk. When we don't feed a baby, the milk clot in here and become lump. And when it becomes lump too long, energy don't flow, become a breast cancer. And that is only maybe one of the causes of it. Now, in a thousand, they discover that if the people can bring the energy and activate the energy <coughs> flow in the breast, the lump gone. They discover three thousand years, <coughs> and now they started to discover and try to push the lady massaging the breast. They said, "Lady must massaging the breast every day and examine the breast. Make sure no lump." 
But with this one, you can actually dissolve the lump. That's what we know. We have people doing that. So the way to do it is, we're going to activate, we set the gland, gland, activate. The gland activates. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to activate the glands in the organs. Okay, now, it's a lady, okay? <laughs> so make sure it look like a lady. So they said the first thing you have to do must rub your hand warm. That's for a lady. And make sure your hand is warm. That's one thing. And put your hand on the breast, inside the breast this way. So you massage outward. Massage outwardly. Use the finger touch lightly on the breast. This one, when you do this way, right away you will activate the glands. The first gland activate is the Christoris. The Christoris activate. When a lady sexual around, automatically all these things will activate by itself. And this Christoris is connecting right away with the pineal gland. They are hooked up together. They're connecting together. Okay? Now, when you keep on massaging, the pituitary gland activate. And the energy started to come down to the thyroid and parathyroid gland. This one. Okay? This. And the energy started to flow down to the breast. And the breast getting expand. And our color changes. Lady, when they sexual around, it happened that way all the time. But lady don't know it or not aware of it. That what happened. And when you're getting older, this process getting less because the hormones don't have enough energy. So they're getting less. And especially if you don't know how to recycle the energy, you lose so much energy out and you drain out all the glands. The next one is the thymus gland. This is very clear. Lady will feel the thymus gland expand like flower. Out. And the energy flow down to the breast. And the next one is the pancreas and the adrenaline gland. All this energy is going to the here. And the breast full with energy. When you arouse so the gland keep energy first. And the brain keep energy first. You see? How? Every time when you engage in sex, the body will give the best that they have. It will give it automatically no matter who you are, how old, how sick you are, because they think that, hey, he's going to make a baby. You know? The body don't think that what you're going to do. You have fun or anything, they don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> but any time you have sex, the body says, hey, he wants to have another baby. So let everybody give the best. <laughs> you know? So everybody get the best and go out. And that's how. The next one, the organs activate. The organ activate. So the way to, to ensure the organ might activate, you rub your hand warm again. But instead of that, you press right into your breast and circle around this way. Press right in the breast and circle. And this way. You activate the organs. The way you activate the organ is like this. The organs will be activated. Now, when you activate the organ, <coughs> they are the whole different. They are so important. They are so different. You either activate and multiply two energy. One is fear, and one is gentle. When people don't know it, people will multiply the fear. When men lose energy, oftentimes they will multiply the fear. Now, so that's why we so emphasize in the sickening sound, in the smile. So, when you are aware of the kidney, you make sure you are gener uh, generate the gentleness. <coughs> Otherwise, 
the fear will multiply. That's why throughout the history, the people are so frightened about sexual energy. Because they either multiply negative energy or they either multiply the good energy. So important. You can either multiply fear Now, when you rub it, you are aware of your kidney, a gentleness come out, or fear come out. But if you put your mind in the gentleness, the gentleness will multiply. The next one is the liver. The liver. The liver is on the right hand side. You have to generate a kindness. Otherwise, anger come out. The next one is the spleen is worry and the fairness, openness. Fairness and openness. And next, the lung is the courage. Beautiful energy that you need to courage. Or sadness. Or depressions. You see? They either modify bad energy or good energy. In the now, people, people don't know it. And they let the negative energy multiply. That is the one that's getting big trouble for us. And the heart, there is the beautiful one, is love. So we always say about make love, is that right? Make love. Producing more love. If you're not producing more love, you're producing hatred. Hate and cruelty. Simple. So there are, we call the hairline different. It starts from the <coughs> same energy, but it multiplies to our so much different energy. And that is the good and evil so much separate, because the energy multiplies in a different way. The sexual energy is nothing wrong. Like a fire in your stove is nothing wrong. If you use your fire right, it's going to keep you cooking, warm your house, keep you alive. Right now. If you use the fire wrong, it's going to burn you and then kill and burn the whole house. Exactly the same fire and exactly the same light sexual energy. If you know it, you do it right, that's it. Believe it. <coughs> now, come to man now. Man is a little bit easier. You don't have that much thing to do. Yeah. Man have these two exercises with. <laughs> now, <laughs> they discover that the gland of the sexual organs is connecting with all the gland of this, is it, of the gland of all the body. Right in the front of here, connecting with pineal gland. When you come down, connecting with pituitary gland. When you come down, with, connect with thyroid and parathyroid gland. Right in here. And you come down with the thymus gland. And we come down with the adrenaline gland. They're exactly right on the head of it. It's connecting, and this is very clear for me. I did it practice, I know it. When I massage it, bam, right away they hit right in the pineal. There's no missing. You cannot miss it. When you do it, you feel the energy shoot right to the head. At least I do something right to tell my body, say, hey, I'm still active. Don't make me old. You know? When you hit the energy, the sexual energy up, you tell the body you're still active. And the... Uh, the body of the sexual organ is connecting with uh, organs. In this part, connecting with the heart. We call the circulation system. <coughs> the next one with the lungs. The respiratory system. The next one is coming to the digestive system. We involve with stomach, liver, spleen, and pancreas in here. And the next one with 
involved with li uh, kidney and the bladder. So that is how kidneys and the bladder. Now, one thing about men have to be careful, okay? When men do the massage, or we call awakening the energy. So in the Taoism, they say, don't go beyond the point of no return. Okay? When you go on, go on, go on, go on, and you go beyond a point of no return, and you, when you ejaculations, you have nothing to practice. <laughs> At least for a while. You know? <laughs> and you have to wait for a while to get it. Now, once you arouse the sexual energy, and that's how we're going to do the big draw. Okay? The thing is this. When uh, sexual arouse or the lady sexual organ activate, the breast is activate. Now, you have to, all you have to do, you have so much sexual energy activate in this area. So what you have to do is draw this energy, draw the energy you will activate, draw it up. Draw the energy up. Up. So what happened to the sexual organ that been arousal? It will drop down. Drop down to about 60%. So the sexual energy go up and the sexual organ drop down. That means you already draw the energy up. And when you go, when you draw up, you can activate again. And you draw up again. And activate again and you draw up again. So you can keep on activate if you have nothing to do. You can keep on activate <laughs> <laughs> And you can many, 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 many times. So much energy build up, it's no end. So let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> but we give you exception today. No need to arouse your sexual organs. <laughs> uh, in the home, you can do it with arousal or non-arousal also. If you have no time to arousal, it's very great practice. But when you arouse, it is your mind, your thinking. When you think dirty, in a thousand they said, when you think dirty, the energy becomes dirty. Simple, very simple, right? When you think good energy, the energy becomes good energy. Like the Bible says, when you look at a woman and you're already committing sex with it, you already commit adultery. Apparently, this is what Jesus tried to mean it. When you think good, you have good energy. When you think bad, you get negative energy. So the way we're going to do now is the same as with testicle breathing, but different, different. We're going to inhale up front. So when you're ready, tongue, teeth, chin, eye, hand, leg, buttock, inhale up front, middle, back, second, front, middle, back, second, till. But instead of that, we're going to do nine inhalations. So we're going to do it like this. Tang, watch me only. Watch. Tang, we combine everything together now. Tang, teeth, chin, eye, hand, leg. Enough attack, enough pull up the sexual organs. For ladies, squeeze the vagina. Pull up front, middle, back, second. That is, count that one. And the second one, you go down again. So two, no exhale. Three, four, drop a little bit, five, drop a little bit, six, drop a little bit, seven, eight, nine, hold it, hold it, exhale, you know? Okay? So every time when you get it ready, so nine times you're gonna inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so join the energy. Right into the second. When you ex exhale, rest. Put your mind right on the second. You feel the energy go up there. Okay? Like when you try to pump the water from the well. Boom, boom, boom. And you say, hey, no water. You rest. Boom, the water come out. You know? Over time, you see, you say, no more water, no more water. You pump, 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 pump. Ah, no water. And rest. Boom, the water come out. Right on that time, and you come up. And, when we, and we're going to go up to the T11. The same again. So we're going to do, <coughs> we're going to do, uh, just I show you. Tongue, chin, eye, hand, leg, buttock, inner, front, 
sexual organ, every time we say phone, that means you put a sexual organ, whatever you have. No. <laughs> so you should know it, you know. So for a lady, you squeeze the vagina and draw the energy from the breast and already that you activate down and up. For men, you draw in the sexual organ, in. So you pull up front, middle, back, second till, in out T11. The second time, the same again, T11, 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 T11. You always have to go to the base to feed the, energy, the water out, to get the energy out. So night time, hold it in the T11, exhale. Put your mind on T11. Do the barrel breathing. Put your mind on T11. Do the barrel breathing. The same C7, up. The same base scout up in the crown. So final go is, boom, hit the jet pop. Right in the head. Okay? So let's do it. Tongue, teeth, chin, eye, Hand, leg, buttock, in up, up front, middle, back, second, press your leg firm, now two, do it yourself nine time, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, relax your chest, nine, Hold it. Exhale. Put your mind on the second. Better breathing. Rest. Just put your mind on your second and feel the energy come up to your second. <coughs> T11, right opposite the solar plexus. When you bend, you feel a few big bones come out. Are you ready? Tongue, that means your tongue, flat part, press to the roof of the mouth. Teeth, chin, anus, eye pull in, look up, hand, leg, buttock squeeze. You now pull up, draw the sexual energy that being aroused, front, and back, sacrum, press your leg firm, so you can do your sacrum. You now T11, two, nine times by yourself. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Hold it on the T11, hold it, hold it, hold it, exhale. Put your mind T11. Breathe it right into your T11. Rest. Put your mind aware of the T11. <coughs> And home, you can do as long as you want. C7. Find the best here. Are you ready? Ang. Teeth. Chin. Eyes. Hand. We like your chest. Leg. Buttock. Draw the sexual energy. Front, middle, back, sacrum, T11, C7, single chest, night time, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it, hold it, hold it. Exhale. 
aware of your C7. Rest. Just put your mind in the C7 as long as you want. And feel the energy. Best up the scalp. Right on here. Hmm? Let's do it. <coughs> Tongue. Teeth. Chin. Eye. Hand. Leg. Back. Now put up front. Middle. Back. Second, T11, C7, base of scout, and up, up two, three, four, five, six, we like your chest, seven, eight, nine, hold it on your base of scout. Exhale. Put your mind in basic scalp. Barrel breathing is very important. This is lower abdominal breathing. It's very, very, very important. We call fanning the thigh. Rest. Where of the base of scalp. Now, right on top of the head, right on here. Hit right on the top. So, are you ready? Inhale, pull up, tongue, teeth, chin, eye, look up, and a squeeze. Are you ready? Hand, leg, buttock, inhale, pull up front, and a back. Press your leg. Second tilt, T11, C7, base of scalp, crown, look up. Two, all the way to the crown. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it right on the crown. Hold it, hold it. Exhale. Barrel breathing, look up to the crown. Rest. Just put your eye in the crown. And now spiral night time. Don't worry about directions. Reverse night time. Don't worry about directions. Man, press the tongue to the roof of the mouth and draw the energy down to the navel. And spiral night time in the navel and reverse night time in the navel for men. <coughs> Woman can leave the energy in the brain. It will help you increasing your memory. So reverse form the ovarian breathing. The ovarian breathing you, you, you involve with the heart energy. The orgasm upward draw you involve with more cooler energy. You can start in the head. And that is a big draw exercise. We call big draw and orgasm upward draw. The exercise is due for solo <coughs> practice. That means you practice by yourself. And the when and the when you sexual when you sexual intercourse, we will tell you how to do it. 